Hey guys! Hello! Um, it's Tea for Two. I am Tiffany. And I'm Tim. And we are here with our pre Easter after St. Patty's Day episode. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned, we'll be right back after this short commercial from one of our sponsors. I believe I can fly. Fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Continental airplane. Spread your wings. I believe I can <laughs> Just soar. See me running through that open You always get to your destination on time if you fly. fly. With Continental Airlines. Anyway, we're back! So tonight, we went to a concert at Boardman High School. Mm -hmm. My friend Ben was in it, and his best friend Rob, their Boring. insane guitarist. Timmy was very bored, but I had fun. She tried to make me dance with a bunch of little kids. I hate dance children. At all. Absolutely hate them. We had to go to high school again. Remember how we were saying, and it gets better? We'd like to go back to high school? Well, we did! We walked in the front door, felt like we went back four years. But we were bigger, taller, wiser. Older. Older. <laughs> Old fart. Yeah. Tipping out to meet Ben's parents. It was pretty awesome. They played um, Don't Stop Believing at the end. It was their grand finale. They had a crazy light show. They had beach balls flying I like around. The only part, I uh, mostly like the light shows. He loved the light shows. Like Timmy's a big fan of lights. So, the show was good. We had fun. It was. It was a lot of She's fun. She's dancing it up, you know. I'm terrorizing kids. He was. He's surrounded by these little kids, and he's like, I hate children. And you see all these kids turn stare at him, and I'm like, Timmy, this is like children of the corn. They're all going to attack you. It's like a million of them. Well, the teacher was wearing a shirt that said children, and I only, all I kept thinking was corn afterwards. Children of the corn. Remember the guy that sang? He had the sh like stop sign or something on his shirt? Yeah. Yeah, I kept on thinking that. I don't know. But we have a little headline news. Um, I'm single. He is. I am. And that means I'm looking kind right now. But if you have, there's any hot guys out there, and I, yes, I did say guys, that means I'm gay. So just deal with they it. They know that to me. Yeah, well, some people might not know that. They might not keep Stop up Stop turning it to the, the thicks up my nose. But, uh, yeah, and, um, make sure you're muscular, hot, cute, young, not that young. You like blowjobs? Oh, my God. We did just say blowjobs on air. People watching are like falling asleep. They're like, <gasps> blowjobs. <laughs> you want to wake now? <laughs> anyway, Terry, get out of the bigger. We'll come back with a few minutes with our Easter plans. Right after this commercial. Merry Christmas. Wait a minute, it's not Christmas. It's, it's past Christmas. It's been past Christmas for four months. The people that have their Christmas lights still up, the little snowman and everything on their front porches, I saw them in Salem, it's time to take them down. Actually, what ticks me off even more is the people that still have their corn stalks up. It's almost April. What are we waiting for? Next Halloween? It's time to take them down. You're on my hit list, people. Take them down. Please? And we're back! Oh my god. She's <laughs> rabid, people. She's rabid. So Easter plans, Easter plans. What's your Easter plan? I took a week off work because I'm going up to my grandma's to help her get ready for Easter. Help her do the Easter egg hunt. She's a bad bag. She's so fragile. I feel so bad for her. So she needs she? help with a lot of stuff. She's very young. She just has a lot of health problems. So. She has an Easter egg hunt? So I like to help she her out the best I can. I love her. I gotta so. meet her sometime because she likes our videos. She Definitely she does. She would love to meet you. Why don't you come with us for Easter? We'll see. Or come up with me. That'd be fun. We'll see. Is your, yeah. Um, my plans, usually my boy ex-boyfriend and I usually hang out with my parents and something. We'll probably just hang out with the family or something like that. We don't really get an Easter break for YSU. We have a, just the weekend off and that's it. We just got off spring break, so. Yeah, I mean, when you expect. Spring break's kind of like Easter break, I guess. Yeah. Plus you get done in May. I mean, early before For May. you to start. You're starting then. I am. I'm going to be a teacher for little children art. I love kids and I'm great at art, so. Pretty crazy. Yeah. She is pretty good. Damn good at art. So, um, those are our Easter plans. Is all you gonna go to the Easter egg roll? At they have usually an Easter egg hunt or something someplace around here. Go see the Easter bunny. We should go to the mall and see the Easter bunny. So, so I can take pictures. It costs money though. It's Easter bunny. So. <laughs> Oh Lord! You don't have to. We don't have to actually pay to see him. We just go and see him that he's there. I did that with Santa Claus. 
like he's not the same. He's like a mascot. We can drive down the road and see mascots on the side of the road. We can look up an like Easter dog down online the street, and it'd like, be great. Like the dog down the street that sits outside all day. He was out in the pouring down rain and during a thunderstorm today on my way here. Mm. Poor thing. You gotta pay me some damn good money to do that. I know, right? They do get good money. They get like 10 bucks an hour. We should. So you should do to me. You wouldn't have to talk with people. You just wave all the time. Wait. Yeah, and I'm and basically... And they don't know uh, who you are either. That's true. And I'm basically a target. <laughs> they targets on the honking horn. I used to shake her board for Little Caesars all the time. I'd be out there dancing and get honked at all the time. I got hit on a lot when I was on a shaker board. Because I was always dancing around. I'm not surprised. You know, right? <laughs> okay, so anyway, that's our Easter plans. And we'll be back in a few minutes. Hello, everybody. I have an announcement. On Friday, April 15th, 2011, is the Day of Silence. The Day of Silence is a day that we block, we, we tape up our mouths and we hold little cards and stuff that state that we are not going to talk for at least, I think it's six hours or from the beginning of the day until at least about five at night. And what that's for is, it's for, if you haven't heard about it, it's for the LGBTQIA community, which is the lesbian, gay, bisexual, so on and so forth community. For the people that died or have been killed for being who they were, it's just to kind of you know, take a vow of silence for the people that aren't here to actually talk anymore. Take part in this, it's a wonderful thing. You can go to dayofsilence.org and find out more information. Schools across the country and around the world are doing it. So, blessed be, and I hope you take part in the uh, Day of Silence. And we're back! So oh, our topic of time. serious conversation today is... Human decency. Nobody Maybe. has it anymore. No. Nope. NOBODY! Do you, remember, do you remember in the 90s when we were growing up, people were so nice and kind and they didn't care, they didn't cheat the they system? They were so selfless. Or selfish. Selfish, not selfless, wrong word. Selfish. They weren't selfless. Selfish. They were selfless. <laughs> Human decency! You need it. So many people cheat the system, so many people try to get free food, we'll talk about that in a minute. So many people try to screw with people. So anyway, <laughs> so human decency. We were talking at Olive Garden the other day on a smoking break. I was talking to one of my managers and he was mentioning how, um, before I started there, you know, sometime, I think last summer, maybe September, August, sometime around there, the gentleman was on a blind date in his early 50s, had a heart attack and dropped dead in the restaurant, eating there. About a week or two weeks later, people that were eating there that night called and complained to corporate that their meals were ruined. They were inconvenienced by this man dropping dead <laughs> as if he could have controlled it, <laughs> as if it could have been prevented. No, it may have been if he would have well, been in the hospital. <laughs> he had a heart problem, you know what I mean? But, yeah, absolutely insane, you know what I mean? Then the girl that's on the blind date was in the poor thing. They were talking about their past and everything. He talked about his ex-wife. So she found his phone and found the number in his phone that seemed to be his ex-wife, whatever the name was he had mentioned. Calls her. The ex-wife is flipping out. Like, why are you calling me from his phone? Who are you? And all this stuff. And this man laying here dying. Anyway, people were inconvenienced. So, uh, we sent them a gift card. Point blank. 100% guest satisfaction, 100% guest ass kissing is the motto of Olive Garden. Really? Really? Selfish. Thinking about what you can get from other people? Because someone died? Somebody died. Like, this world is like so much bigger than everything else around us, you know what I mean? So this has been our pre-Easter episode. We hope you guys have a wonderful hippity hoppity day. Hippity hoppity, Easter's on its way. Yay! <laughs> We love you guys. Happy Easter, everybody. Blessed be. We'll see you back here in around May. May. Around my birthday. It. I'm going to be 23. Pretty good. We love you. Goodbye. And we're back! Why do you always have to do it? Why don't you try it? And we're back. Do a little bit crazier. And we're back! That was very scary. Try it. That's so scary. And we're back! No. They'll be like, hey, we're back! That's so scary! <laughs> How is that scary? I don't know, it's just you shouting. He doesn't ever shout. I Try it. Hey, we're back! Hey, we're back! <laughs> that was dumb. Perfect. You have a skyscraper up your nose. <laughs> <laughs> I 
of an itch. Oh my god. <laughs> I just noticed that. I'm like, what the hell? Let's pick my teeth. Oh, not on TV. Or not on the skirt show. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. That's, that's so great. Um, How do I look from the side? Are you being serious? Yeah. I'm just going to see what I look like from the side. I'm all things to add. How do I look from the side? I can't really see. Let's see if I do it real fast. Do you think I can to my lipstick pokey. catch myself? How do my lipstick titty? This is attractive face. Oh I was um, talking with one of my managers. And, uh, I'll take a call. Hello? Hey, you called. What's up? Yeah, you called me. I mean, I guess you left a message. I don't know. I didn't listen to the message. I just, it was your number that called me. Oh, okay. Well, have her have her call me tomorrow. I can't talk right now because me and Timmy are recording tea for two. Mm. All right. Um, have her call me tomorrow anytime. All right. Love you. Bye. You're done. Yeah. Hold that moment. Hold that. Hold that thought. I'm gonna get a drink. Hey. I'm just recording a tea for two episode with Timmy. What's up? Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I can't for very long, but, okay, um, what are you guys doing? Oh, just you. Aw, you said you and your family, I was all like, aw. Oh, okay. Yeah, I, I don't know, I probably, I don't know. Um, let me, let me text you back, okay? Or call you back or something. In a second. <laughs> okay. Alright, bye.